books and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. La, 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 la. I think it's the highest a kite's ever flown, ever! Gosh, it's pretty. Uh, can I have a turn? Of course. Just be sure you hold it real tight. Yeah, sure. Why is it falling? The wind died down. Look out for that tree! Well, that's that. Not on my watch. I'll get it down. <laughs> oh, Bucky. You might want to back up. Ha <laughs> The bear! Touch the sky! That was the sky's fault. <laughs> Listen, you have to take your time. Climb slow and steady. Plan each step. This time I'll get it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I don't. This time I'll definitely get it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Come on. Getting there. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, guys, why don't we just leave that one there and make a new one? No way. Our kite doesn't belong to this tree. Look. Bjorn's almost got it already. Hey, Bjorn! Uh, no look kite good. ever gets left behind! Uh, I didn't get it down. All right, we need better equipment. Tree meat ladder. I'm going up to get our kite back. Uh, maybe hold the ladder. Uh, Bjorn, I can't quite reach it. I need backup. Get up here. Uh-huh. I can almost reach it. Ugh. Franny, come up here. We're so close. Just a teeny bit more. One strand of tail fur. Just be sure that you hold the ladder steady. Don't let go. Hey, Bucky. I was just wondering, if all of us are up here, then who's... Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa. I know what our best plan is now. We just build a new kite? What? No. Now we make a tornado with our lungs. Blow as hard as you can. <gasps> Come on! Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Um. All right, guys, maybe we should stop. You're right. Throwing sticks is not smart because we might hurt the kite. But I've got the answer. I give you the brand newest incredible awesome invention. It's the poultry bolt. Hop in, bud. It's super simple to operate. All you do is pull the lever. Good test. This time we just aim a little better and try again. And again. <laughs> and again. Exceeded operational capacity. What? The poultry poult is kaput. You guys, hey, why don't we make an even better kite instead? Hey, that sounds like a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Franny, you're a genius. It's so pretty. Can I have a 
turn? Of course, here it is. Just try not to let the wind do huh? that. Oh, oh again. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I don't like that tree. So we just build a new one, right? You kidding? I can get it down. Ha-ha! <laughs> here we go again. The, the weather, weather forecast. <laughs> Bucky's limber. Bucky spry. This bear is on fire. Now let the badminton tournament begin! I'm ready to win big. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm ready to win bigger. Game on, guys! Flam! Pow! Hiya! Uh, uh. oh. Shuttlecock retrieval! Uh. Ha. Mm. Uh. Ha. Oh! Wow! Shuttlecock retrieval! What are you on break? Stop the game! It's all over! It's a tie! It's a tie? I want to win! We have to keep going! Let's do it then! Bucky's pumped! Bucky's spry! This bear is... Wet? Run! Save yourselves! Oh. Hurry! You ever see a wet bear? We look ridiculous! <laughs> oh, my fur is gonna be frizzy for a week. Dumb old thunderstorm. It spoiled our fun afternoon. If only we'd known in advance that all this rain was coming, then we could have planned the tournament for a different time instead. Hey, we could do that. There's a way to predict future weather. Let's go outside and I'll show you. Well, we're outside. Show us how to predict the weather. We need to observe the birds. If they're flying close to the ground, rain might be coming. And if they're flying way up high, we're in for sunny weather. But where are the birds? There are none around. Then we just have to wait. Birds are for the birds. What I'm gonna do is build a mechanical weather predictor. Franny, Chicky, let's get going. Hmm. Yes. See the saw. See the saw. Saw. Ah, oh, that is looking sweet. Ahem, ahem. Presenting my new awesome invention. The truly brilliant Rainomatic Brainomatic! Ta-da! It's all very simple. I put my avian macro chip right in the basket, which the balloon then skyifies. At the first sign of rain, the avian macro chip relays a signal to those on the ground. And that's that. Any questions? Good. Where's my macro chip? Ah! Excellent. If you see any weather, just be sure to let us know down here. Good macro chip. <laughs> Finally, there's a bird! Flying high. All right, that means rain's not coming. I need to go tell the guys. Yay! <laughs> uh, Chicky Chip, you're back! And you're all wet, which must mean rain! Uh, it'll be here soon! We need to tell Bjorn! Bucky, sunny weather's coming! Hey, Bjorn, here comes rain! Uh, we're uh, gonna have sunshine! Uh, no, we're not, Bjorn. Here comes rain. No, here comes <gasps> sunshine. No, rain! <laughs> hey, look, you guys, it's snowing. Hmm? Mm. Hmm. Does look like snow, which means that we won't be playing any more games. Sigh. I guess I should have built a snow matic Oh, heck, no matic so, Bjorn, have you got some skis by any chance? Of, of course! course! Skis! Yeah. yeah! We can have a tournament of winter badminton! Uh-huh. This was a really cool idea. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, guys! 
Here comes my super serve. Kazamo! Boom! Ha! Uh. Yay! Kapow! Ha. Uh. Shuttlecock retrieval. Hey, is that a rain cloud? Honey, Honey story. story. I'll be right there. Bucky, Franny. Try a little of my wild berry tea. It's crazy good for you. Made from raspberries and dewberries and farkleberries. I pick them myself. Thanks a lot, Bjorn. So tasty. <sighs> Ugh, it's sour. You should add some, like, marmalade. Nah, it doesn't need any marmalade. You just need to get used to it. Oh, add some chocolate. It does not need chocolate. Well, then, uh, honey? You could add that, sure. You know what? I've never tried honey before in my life. Not once. What? what? No, no honey. honey? We have to fix that. You're about to take your first step into a yummier world, Franny, my friend. Well, let's go collect some honey from the bees for you to enjoy. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not getting stung. Forget that. Who needs bees? I'll make my own honey. If the bees can do it, so can I. I can do way better than a bunch of bugs. Honey. Making honey. Now, what am I gonna need? Mm, not that. Not that either. That I will need. Negative, affirmative, negatory, absolutely. Nope. No peroni. No thank you. Hmm. This should come in handy. All right, then. Dear bees, good day. Could I perhaps have some honey? Hello? Oh, that didn't work. So, plan B. So, how does the honey naterizer work, you asked? Well, it's simple. Of course, everybody knows honey is made from pollen. So, we begin with a pollen gathering device, or pollen slurp upinatorizer. Once slurp upinatorized, the pollen dissolves in water and mixes with sugar. Why sugar? Because everybody in the world knows that honey's very sweet. That's right, Chicky. Time to make the world's first bear honey. <laughs> this is very exciting. Dear bee buddies, please let me take a little bit of your fine honey. And to say thanks, I'll sing you a nice song. Taking walks and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, if there's... Ouch! Ah! Rain there singing, la. Reading books together. Super failed plus. My plan hyper crashed and burned as well. All I got was stung all over. Bjorn, I'm sorry. It's not smart to get so close to bees. What did you say? And what if you didn't have to get close to the bees? Franny, you're a mega genius. I'll be back. Come on. Ah. <laughs> okay. This way, the bees won't bother us at all. You see, Bjorn? Go left, back to the right, up a little, and we're in, yeah! Now, a little slurp down in naturization, and we are in the honey! Mm. Well, you're right. 
right. Honey is very delicious. Also, it's nutritious. Turns out bees do pretty fine work. They've got me beat. My bear honey was a whole new kind of awful. <laughs> <laughs> Gardeners! Hey there, Bjorn. So, why are you throwing all these seeds around? Hey, Bucky. Good morning. I'm not throwing them around. I'm planting a vegetable garden. It's going to be completely organic. So what does that mean? Uh, what's the word? Floor panic? It's where... What? You scatter your seeds around and then let nature do the rest. Completely organic, yeah! There's just no way you can leave this stuff to nature. You need to be technological. I'm talking about civilization! Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hi, Bjorn! Hi there, Bucky! What's happening? Morning, Franny! Hi! What's up? We're both planting vegetable gardens. Bjorn will do his organic thing while I use technology. That's spectacular. I'm off to pick blackberries. Later. I'm going to be like the greatest gardener in the history of gardens. Genius time farmer style. Behold, the Farminatortron Omaticizer. So, where do I want to plant all these seeds? I feel the need. The need for seed. I will make the planet feed me. There. All planted. What's step two? Right! Water time! Whoa! Well, looks like it's clearing up. Hmm. Bjorn, hey! What are all these green things over here? I don't think they're vegetables. Actually, they're weeds. They won't cause problems. They're harmless. The weeds are also part of the organic world. Well, you might not mind, but I don't want any weeds in my garden. Now I feel the need to weed. Take that, silly weeds. Very, very quite contrary. Let my garden grow. Little guys. Calm down. They're harmless insects. Don't worry. They don't interfere with my garden at all. Part of nature, right? Well, they sure interfere with my garden. Chicky, attack the bugs! Hmm. Nature will straighten everything out itself. Think what you like. My garden's gonna get lots of fertilizer. Huh? Hi there! I brought you some blackberries, guys! How are your gardens doing? Look! Mine has no weeds, mine has no insects, and lots of rocking fertilizer. So fertile! That's technology! Franny, hey, do you want to take a look at my garden? No chemicals at all. Organic, nature's way. Organic's awesome! Really cool, Bjorn! And yours is cool, Bucky. But where are your crops? They're somewhere in here. I mean, they must be in here somewhere, right? I just have to find them. Oh, hold on, I know they're close by. Wait. Well? Crops incoming! Where are the tomatoes? Uh, they should be here. I just need to look for them. Uh, there. Just come on. Hey, I found one. <laughs> well, they're not big. Bjorn, this is all your fault. And why is it my fault? I'll tell you why. Because your weeds are everywhere. So? What do my weeds have to do with anything? Hey, guys. What if you two take a step back and see if you put your cute heads together? You can figure this out. I'm not sure, but thanks for your input. I should get going. Bye, guys. Well, so, you want to try this? Try this what? Combining our different ways. We could try it, but there can't be any weeds. That's fine. And maybe a bit less cannons and screaming. Look what 
what we did. It's better to work together than apart. Don't you think, Bucky? Ta! We actually make a pretty good team, the two of us. Dude, we should be on TV. Yeah. Global, Global warming. warming. Huh? Oh. Oh. Uh. Wait, wait, don't go! Oh. 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 It's too darn hot! Now I know what a potato feels like when it's baking. What a heat wave we're going through. Phew, boy. What a scorcher. Wish I could take my fur off. Hmm. Genius time! Must beat the heat! Huh? Poor little overheated beak face. Chicky, don't worry. I'll cool you down, pal. Wait there. Here and here. Also here. Also, also here. And here. And here, too. Now, which wire leads to what? Was it red or blue? Or was it gray or gray? I better unplug them both. Just to be certain. They're alive! Alive! You are so lucky to have a friend as smart as me. You'll be cool in no time. I just need to get some nice, refreshing drinks from the bridge now. Come to me, my lemonade. Whoa! No way! It's even too hot inside the fridge! <gasps> this isn't just a heat wave. This heat must be the work of global warming! Well, all right then. It's time to invent something that protects us from Mr. Sun! This is my best idea ever! Beat the heat! Yeah! Ah. Huh? Ah. Mm. Hi, Bucky! I brought you some nice cold fruit punch. Franny, thanks, but I don't have time for punch. I'm doing something really important. Can you not see that I'm working hard on a machine that will block out the sun? Great. Uh, why would you need to block out the sun? To save the world from the terrors of global warming. Look, Franny. Ooh, just need a few props. And there. Say you're relaxing in the sun, just catching some rays, and you start to get a little extra hot. You start up your sweet sunblockinator Omatictron and shade, even on the hottest of days. <sighs> hmm? Huh? A fire? Looks like it's near Bucky's place. I'm coming to rescue you, buddy. <laughs> oh, Bjorn! Hi there. Want some fruit punch? Hey there, Bucky. So, what's burning? Nothing's burning. It's worse. Global warming is ravaging our planet. Bjorn, my poor fridge is no longer cold. It got warmed. This is bad. Hurry, we've got to save our forest. So, will you two boys have some of my punch or not? Who cares about the punch? Don't you die on us, forest. Hey, come on. Pump it, guys. Keep on pumping it. That's great. You picked the wrong globe to warm, Buster. Put your back into it! So, hero -esque. Well, guess I should put the punch in the fridge. Who cares about the punch? The stuff is delicious. Huh, that's weird. Oh, it's been turned off. Odd choice on such a hot day. Hmm. Oh, the pluggy's outie. There you go, sweetie. Now it'll cool right down. See you later, Punchy. Pump, you pumpers! Pump like the wind! Yes! Take that, global warming! Fellas, I'm heading home. Bucky, I plugged your fridge back in for you and left some punch. Okay, bye! Uh, huh? It wasn't global warming that did it then? All this time, I unplugged the refrigerator myself? And we both thought that we were saving the entire forest. <laughs> Pump, guys! Pump like the wind! <laughs> That's Franny the Fox 1, Global.
of a warming zero. Want some fruit punch? That sounds amazing. It's really hot out today. Well, that's global warming for you. Insomnia. Could this get any worse? Are you kidding me? Shh! Nobody cares who! Go away, world! Stop it! Just ignore it. Gotcha. Now shh. I mean it. No. Bjorn. 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 Mm -hmm. Buck, what's going on? Oh, morning, Bjorn. I can't sleep because I've got no sleepnia. Insomnia, that's what they call it. Go take a nap. Come back this afternoon and we'll talk about why you can't sleep or whatever then. How am I supposed mm. to take a nap if I can't sleep? Well, you've got a point there. Well, let's solve your problem together and figure out why you're having this insomnia. To start, tell me everything you did yesterday. Yesterday, hang on. Uh... In the morning, I did some pretty important high-tech research. A little light farming. A lot of high-level brain stuff. Like most days, it's pretty taxing. Then, after lunch, some moderate to heavy farming. Uh, with yoga on the side. Then, after some advanced gravity experiments, I invented a whole new way to use a chair. Oh, then finally, I thought up two rhymes for the word orange, but I didn't have anything to write them down with, so I forgot them. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you just played farm hero all day long. That pretty much covers it, yes. Well, I was gonna do more, and then I just didn't. Well, I do know one cure for insomnia, but I left it under this big pile of firewood. Can you help find it? Easy McPeasy. Not really seeing anything under here. Maybe it's under this pile. Or these piles. Keep looking. You're doing great, Bucky. Hey, what's up? Where's your cure? It's not here. Well, that's weird. I was sure it was there. What if it's lost in all that big, tall grass? Right. So where's the lawnmower? I was hoping for the kind you ride on. Oh, well, this will work just fine. Still no sign of a Ugh. cure. Keep looking, it's gotta be somewhere. Nothing, nada, squat. Well, well what? Now that I'm remembering, that insomnia cure could have fallen from my pocket while I was planting trees. Wanna check? Please. Is it under that log? Uh, or by the fence, maybe? Uh, Keep looking. If I look any harder, my eyes will explode. Yeah, it's under the log. Or in the hedge. <laughs> There. Oh. Hey! I definitely had it in the flower bed. Maybe. Or was it in the leaves? Or the dock that isn't there yet. And did you check the Zen rock garden? Or under my dirty dishes? Where, oh, where could it be? While you're checking the roof, can you install this pinwheel? Nice, thanks. So is it up there? I can't believe we still haven't found your insomnia medicine after looking all that time. It's mega extra lost. 
Phew, I'm so tired. <gasps> I'm sleepy. I'll get some sleep and then we can look for the insomnia cure again in the morning. Why bother with that? A hard day's work is the best cure for insomnia at night. Makes sense. Hope I can find that no sleep me a cure when I wake up. The, the house, house spirit. This is a million percent true. It was a dark and stormy night. I was in my house all by myself, working on a gadget, which I never got to work right. But forget that. There I was, geniusing away. And then, then what? I took one bite and put the cake back. It was mad tasty, by the way. Right, but then when I looked, cake? Cake, where are you? Cake? It was gone? Completely gone, the whole piece. I'd only had Ooh. one bite. And then what? Well, that was how it started. Ever since, whenever I look the other way, blam, my food vanishes. This one time, I was uh, reading this really hard book for super smart bears, and can you believe it? Blam, completely empty. And it's happened other times, too. Huh? When I'm meditating, or working out, I mean, at its core, there's something really fishy going on. It started happening all the time. It's even sort of scary. If all my food just keeps disappearing, what am I supposed to do? Think maybe I could just stay with you until this problem stops? Listen, Bucky, we have this ancient legend up north where I come from. They say that in the den of every bear, there lives a house spirit. And if the bear does something to upset him, he will become angry. And then he'll start playing all sorts of mean, bad tricks. Just be quiet with your made-up ghost stories. Modern science guides this bear's life. Look, excuse me, I'm back. I'm talking formulas, theorems, and proofs. Elegant math equations. Ah. Backed up by advanced, complex, state-of-the-art lab experiments. <laughs> really science -y oh, science! Oh, oh. Through which I've absolutely proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that dumb house spirits just do not exist. But your food keeps disappearing, doesn't it? <sighs> All right, fine. If I have a house spirit, why did he become a food thief? He never took anything before. I'm not sure. I guess that he's upset. Upset? At what? Just look at the sweet place he gets to call home. Spacious, warm, stylish, bright, brilliant feng shui. You know, Bucky, while it's true, you have a wonderfully nice place to live in here, but it's ah! a bit of a terrible mess. I'd be upset if I had to live here. If you had looked where you were stepping, you'd have no reason to be upset. And this is not just some ordinary mess. It's a creative genius mess. It's like the inside of my brain. Whoa! Oh, my brain's a mess. Perhaps we should tidy up anyway. I can help, you know. Here we go. Careful, buddy. We're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> well, if it isn't Mr. Buttons. Whoa! I lost that, like four whole months ago. What is this thing? So, I thought I should be prepared in case aliens ever land here. Of course, I would need to document the moment. So I set up surveillance cameras all over the house. So, did the aliens ever actually come? Not yet. Could be they took a wrong turn. Alien GPS is buggy. Are the cameras still all recording stuff? Of course! Bjorn, you're a genius! Now, thanks to modern technology and my amazing brain's first-rate thinking, we've got footage of my house spirit. You can totally tell I'm geniusing up a storm there. <gasps> there! Chicky, that naughty pumpkin! But what's up? Where's the house spirit? Forward. Chicky again? Just wait until I get my hands on that little yellow yum burglar. That was my honey! Come on! Forward. Chicky again? Are you kidding me? That sneaky little beak face. Well, there. It was just Chicky the whole time. And you are talking about house spirits. But your house is a lot tidier and cleaner than it used to be, Bucky. 
If a house spirit was living here, he'd definitely be happier now. That's fine by me. I like it like this. There's room to skateboard inside. Ooh, I always hide a cookie in the couch. Where'd it go? It had cream in the middle. I need it. I really need it. Huh? Give me back my cookie. <laughs> hey! Come back! <laughs> How to cure a tree. Just a polar bear on a stroll. Bucky! Bucky, hey! You in there? We're going to the river, right? Have those wires always been there? Where are you? Come on, Bucky! I'm sorry, Bjorn. I can't go today. Where are you? What do you think you're doing? Stop that this instant! I mean it! Bucky! Ouchie, McPain Pain, why are you screaming? You huh? totally made me mm. hurt myself. You say huh? you're hurt, huh? Ugh. What about the tree? What? The apple tree? Like, what about it? It's only a tree, right? A tree is a living thing. It feels pain too, you know. Why are you torturing it? Me? Torturing? How? There's been no torture. I'm setting up the internet, dude. Can you just imagine the entire world at our fingertips? All the latest information in the entire world, and it's mine for the browsing. Uh, you're hurting the tree for the sake of internet, huh? What happens if the tree dies? This is only a tree, Bjorn. We have a forest full of them, see? What's your problem? Just watch. When I am through, I'll show you the whole wide world. You'll be able to see what our forest looks like from space. I don't want to see a tree suffer like this. Not even from space. You've hurt the poor thing, and now it feels bad. Bjorn, you are one odd bear. I'm attempting to drag you into the current millennium. All that you seem to be concerned with are some silly trees. I'm not interested in the kind of progress that causes any trees to suffer. You can do your interneting without me. Why was Bjorn that upset? I've just made this forest so much cooler. By far. It's really working. I'm a genius. They should call me Albert Einstein. Home sweet home. Whoa, Bjorn sweet Bjorn. What's he doing? Poor thing. Hello, Bjorn. Are you all right? Are you still mad at me? I'm not mad, Bucky. Just... But you have a growl well, face. Well, I'm worried about this poor apple tree. I've given it a lot of water, but it's still not looking any better. So why not just find the right way to fix the tree? You're an expert on branches and leaves and dirt and all that stuff. Bjorn, I'll help in any way that I can. Just let me know what to do. I'm pretty darn good at everything. Listen, you don't understand. The apple tree is a living thing. It can't just be repaired. It needs to be treated so that it can heal. But I don't know what to do. So, you need to heal a tree, but you're not certain how. When there's something that you need to learn, you just have to ask. And you know where you can find out the answer to pretty much any question? Wait for it. On the internet. There, it's really easy, see? Eureka! <laughs> Ladder time! Yeah! Get these out of your way and tape! Ooh. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Catch! Nailed oh, it! Oh, yeah! Incoming! Looking good! All right! work. Thanks. It looks so much better than before, right? It will heal in no time. What a relief. What did I tell you, Bjorn? What would we have done if we hadn't had the internet? You must see now, it's wonderful. The way that scientific process
progress can improve our lives. You're right. But from now on, can we progress without causing harm to the living things around us? Like trees or flowers or ferns. Let's just not harm nature at all, ever, period. Or else we won't have anything nice to look at from space. You look very handsome from space, by the way. Harvest Hero! Okay, this is incredibly important. Hi, finance here, and here, 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 here. Now I'll rock the world by planting strawberries! Oh yeah, I'm cool. Who's the best? I'm the best. Bucky, <laughs> are you in there? Come on, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm coming. Oh, I'm just so busy. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in three days now. We have so much stuff to do. You know it. That's why I don't have time for this. Dude, I have more work than I can handle. It never ever stops and my back kind of hurts a little. Huh? I've got pumpkins to double click. My strawberries all need de-weedification. Oh, come inside and I can show you my amazing farm. <laughs> Harvest hero, level 26, watch and learn. Mm, tools, shovel, go, beets. Yes, winning! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Harvest, harvest! Isn't that just the greatest? Uh, huh. But it's just not, well, none of it's real. It's way better than real life. When you hit level five, you get farmer armor. Then no matter what they stack up against you, you can handle it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. It's intense uh. having all this responsibility. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Uh. My cauliflower is calling. Level 27, look out. Strawberry de-weedification. Pumpkins aren't supposed to be clicked. Pumpkins are supposed to be picked, which Bucky used to know. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Ah! I have a plan. The very newest game, you say? Uh-huh. It just came out today. It's what they call a virtual reality game. What does that mean? It means that the game plays and looks like you're really inside of it. The entire game feels Whoa. super real. <laughs> and is so virtual, like, like you can actually eat the strawberries. Huh? Dude, I've got to try this. Why am I not playing it? Come on, where am I gonna get to play? The waiting is too much. Put this on. Virtual eyeball interface. Finger sockets. Oh yeah, this is wicked. This is the game gear? Of course it is. And now you can turn around. Whoa. It's just, I can't believe this is a video game. The graphics are awesome. Let me play. How do you work it? Where's the controller? Forget <laughs> about controllers. You've got goggles for a screen. It's got built-in controllers and they're called your hands. You walk toward an object and just try and interact with it. Just like reality. The virtual baskets are right over there. <sighs> it had a real taste, a yummy one. This game is fantastic. All right, let's do this. Come on, game, let's see if you can keep up with me. <laughs> all day. Well, who knew you had such an awesome game? Though I wish the reality of my achy sore back was only virtual. Maybe if you keep coming outside and playing my game, you'll master it. And then it won't hurt so much. 
Thank you so much, Bjorn. Good times. Don't forget to hit save. I don't want to lose my progress. I'm going inside to get a little... <gasps> high-quality time in standby mode. That's gamer talk for a nap. An actual real nap in my real bed. Old-fashioned food. The master chef at work. His ancient secret recipe is a nutritious roadmap to Yummy Town. Oh, here already? Bwong, 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 bwong. Hi there, come on in. Hey. Yum. <clears throat> Am I early, Bjorn? Not at all, Buck. It's almost ready. What did you make? Well, pie? Well, it isn't pie, no. Then what? Cake? Not cake, no sir. Wait and see. Is it cupcakes then? It's not cupcakes. It's ice cream. Wrong again. Well then what? Are we even really going to have something? Behold! Smells so good, right? This is our ancient northern recipe. What's this stuff? Soup? <laughs> yeah. Wise bears teach us to eat lots of food that's nutritious before the start of winter. And this soup has lots of yummy things. Mushrooms, cabbage, and carrots. Just stop! You said this wouldn't be some old dull lunch. You promised a feast. This is a feast where I'm from. We call it Grand Poobah Chowder. I opened a can of really special spongy mushrooms for it. Thanks a lot, Bjorn. But soup doesn't sound that good to me. I'd rather just stick with my um, 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 yummy chips here. I'm not that hungry. If you're not really hungry, why do you keep eating all those chips then? They're bad for you. Remember, when summer's over, there won't be anything like this soup. <laughs> I sleep all winter long, so summer's never over for me. And these chips just couldn't be bad. They're so great. <laughs> and no cooking required. But the way we did it, Back up north. Up north, we did this and we did that. Your ways are so old-fashioned up north with your fungus weed soup or whatever. But this is modern food. It was made in a factory with machines and smart technology. Well, if you don't like the kind of food that I make, then the next time you can cook. Come on, Bjorn. Don't be upset. Hey, listen. I'll make something that's delicious for you. So good your taste buds will explode! Genius time! I'll invent a recipe that's totally new. It'll be fantastic. Behold! Nah, not good enough yet. What else could I use? Ha! Ah, gotta use gummy bears! Nice! Looks so yummy! Oh! I love hot dogs, too. Ooh, and meringue. Chocolate, of course. Burgers. Wait, wiener burgers. Gingerbread. Cookies, yeah. Now lots of mayonnaise on top. Ice cream. And cupcakes. It's so beautiful. Super McDuper. Now that is what I call a real feast. I better get Bjorn over here before the ice cream melts. <laughs> Bjorn, you are going to flip. Prepare yourself. You are about to be truly amazed. Oh, wow. Cool sculpture, Bucky. It isn't a sculpture at all. It's a super McDuper dish that I invented. It sure is taller than your regular food. It had to be big enough to fit all the flavor. Now then, board the train to Yummy Town. Eat that stuff? You really serious? Trust me, you're going to be begging for seconds, thirds, tenths. Um, ew, disgusting. What? Disgusting? Impossible. Gross, right? You don't look so good, Buck. You all right over there? I'm just fine. I've never had yummier food. It's really nutritious as well. Bucky? Mm. Junk food avalanche! Ah, Bucky, ah. run! Ah. And I just realized I'm starving. It's all right, Bucky. We'll clean the whole mess up. And when we're done, you can reconstruct your dish. 
Your modern and high-tech, disgusting, horrible, awful dish. Uh, Bjorn, know what? Let's head to your house. You've got some soup left over there still, right? Make yourself right at home. Ah, mm, there. Ha-ha. <laughs> Try not to lick the paint off the bowl. Yeah, Grand Poopa Chowder. <laughs> they should call it Bucky's Bottomless Belly Bisque. That is literally your 10th helping. Can I have 11th? <laughs> Please? The, the best, best reminder. Bucky? What in the world is this? A doorbell or something? It's a reminder, not a doorbell. You remember how we made plans to go fishing early tomorrow morning? Well, I tied a bunch of knots to remind myself to remember not to forget. It's something we always did up north. Okay, it's not supposed to do that. That system sounds unreliable. Never fear. I'm going to invent a reliable mechanical reminder system. We'll remember everything! Great, but Bucky, please, just remember not to forget our trip. Time to get my genius on. Eureka! Lunch time. Time to clean. Time to work out. Fishing trip. It works! Awesome! All right! I am one with nature. I am a peaceful bear. A peaceful, peaceful bear. Growl. Bjorn! It's so great! Yay! I've done it! Bjorni, prepare to be amazed. My remind matic works great! Here, let me show you! Are you excited? Because you absolutely should be! Watch this! I'll have the remind matic remind Chicky that it's time to eat lunch! It's so user-friendly that even a bird brain can understand it. You may want to sit down. This is going to be very exciting! Wow! Chicky must have been really hungry. Ta-da! Isn't my remind matic amazing? I'll never ever forget anything now. What is next on my schedule? Aha! Time for tea time! Thanks, remind matic Being a genius rock! Ah, there Bucky goes again. It's so very tea time. Ah! Oh, goodness! It's time for cleaning! Long time since I cleaned up. <laughs> whoa, whoa! What now? Huh? Ah, it's garden time! Ah! Huh? Wash! Huh? Iron! Huh? Time to cook! Time to snap! Time to hold! Workout time! Play outside! Don't forget! Eat! Wash up! Weed the garden! Sleep! Watch bear ball! Eat! Never forget! Eat! Uh. Clean! Sleep! Exercise! All the things! Remember all the things! All the things! Dream! Drool! Snore! Huh? Yeah! It's time to what? I thought it was time to sleep! What? Huh? Oh, that's right! It's time for me to turn over! Huh? 
trust me on this one. We're better off forgetting all about that silly thing. But those reminder knots of yours really are a clever idea. Know what, Bucky? What? The most important reminders aren't here, you see. They're down here. Well, I'll certainly never forget my best friend. So, have those reminder knots ever woken you up in the middle of the night? A journey! Good morning, Bjorn. What are you doing? Bucky, hi there. I'm just getting stuff ready to go. You mean you're going on a trip? Can I come too? Why not? Come on along. I just love to travel the world, but not on foot. Walking's too slow, plus you can't carry enough stuff, plus you don't see a lot, plus, plus you could get lost. We won't get lost when I bring this compass with us. Awesome! Hmm, I've got an idea. Rope, please tell me you have some. Excellent. That'll work. Come over to my place in the morning and bring your stuff. Time to be awesome! Hi, Bucky. Oh, wait a minute. What's floating in your yard? It's for us, a hot air balloon for our trip. Uh... Come on, climb on board. It's time for us to fly. I don't think I'll be traveling by air. No way. I am not a flying bear. Why not? The balloon will carry us and all our stuff, and there's no chance we'll get lost because we can see everything from up here. Well, even if you're right about all that, it's bad weather for flying today. Uh... Get it? You're afraid of flying, right? What? I am not afraid of flying. Whoa. Are you sure? Whoa. Problem! Uh, Bjorn, Bjorn, I'm really scared Whoa. of you. Hey, Bucky! Please do something, Bjorn. Help me! Oh, oh. Hang on, it's a hurricane! I hate flying! I'm not Travel was a bad call. I guess that we better walk home. But where's home? We've flown so far, I don't know the way back. Well, I don't know how to get back. Don't you have your fancy compass? Well, yeah, only it's still inside my backpack, which is back at your house. Uh, what are we gonna do about this? I wanna go home. Bucky, guess what? I think you were right, my friend. We can travel in this balloon of yours. Because I just had a great idea! That was some great thinking, Bjorn! This is a great view, just lovely! Don't forget that I need directions! Mm, do your mm, job! Go left! Good! I see our volcano over there! Turn to the right now, then straight ahead! You're doing great! Come on, let's switch jobs so I can do some flying too, Buck! Is it just me, or have I been pulling a lot longer than you did? Bjorn? Ooh, my scarf! Oh, look out! We're back at all those wires! Keep to the right! Yeah! Bucky, you're 
the other right! <laughs> oh, hey! There's your house! Hooray! We made it! Yeah, traveling is pretty awesome. Let's get lost up north tomorrow. Let's what? <laughs> Bjorn, why are you laughing? I'm serious! <laughs> you can see everything from up here. <laughs> There's a reason bears don't have wings, right? Where? Here? Maybe nothing. Um, what about... Here! Huh. Hey, mushrooms! Are you all on vacation or what? I give up! There are no mushrooms anywhere! I don't think there ever were! Bjorn, buddy! Where'd he go? Who can keep up with that bear? Oh! Doing? Earth to the polar bear? So, am I just looking for mushrooms all alone? Mm. You had time to find all those mushrooms and have a dance party too? All right, Bjorn, tell me how you found them. Because I looked everywhere really hard. And I found none. I don't really know, Becky. I'm just totally in tune with nature. Bjorn and the forest drum to the same beat, and that's how. But where you come from, there's no forest. Just a lot of snow. There is snow, yeah. But there's forest, too. And animals and the ocean. The north is pretty big. Question! How do you stock up for the winter up north where the world is frozen? Mushroom sickles. Just kidding, we dry <laughs> fish. <laughs> and there's juicy walrus steaks <laughs> and yummy fish huh? oil. Yummy fish oil? So disgusting. Suddenly mushrooms sound a whole lot better. And this bear is going to invent a modern way to fix them. I'll make the forest dance to a brand new drum. Uh. <laughs> With his mighty hammer, the brown bear can change the world. Hey, Bucky, I could use your help. I got all the mushrooms ready to hang up to dry them out for winter. <laughs> mushroom, so, uh, mushroom, huh? I'm on a roll here. Check out uh, my amazing invention. Uh, it's a barrel with warts? Don't you see? Now every mushroom will be ours. Thanks to my remarkable machine, the Rush Zoomer Mushroomer 500. So it's not a wart barrel? How is it supposed to gather mushrooms, Bucky? Prepare to witness the amazing. One humble brown bear is about to show the whole entire world the way a master stocks up for the winter. <laughs> yeah! Bjorni, look! Woohoo! Yeah! I love it! I'm a rush zoom in my tail off. Bucky the bear is a genius! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Rush zoom! Gotcha! Gotcha too! Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! Well then, do you love it or do you love it? Greatest invention in bear history. But Bucky, there's a lot of stuff, just not the right stuff. Just look, try, dig around, you'll find mushrooms in there. Well, I found some really nice leaves. Oh, the wonderful bounty of the forest. Looks great. Mmm. Oh. That tastes truly awful. What if we mixed it with that yummy fish oil you were talking about? Wait, that's the worst idea ever. The polar bear is getting a pretty cool idea. Bucky, listen. I already know it. The rush zoomer is nothing but a wart barrel. <sighs> My big important machine for picking mushrooms is a failure. Bucky, it was not a failure. While it may not be the best machine for collecting mushrooms, it is super good at cleaning old leaves up. I'm a genius! Ha ha! Just look at the Deleepinator 5000! But I can make it even better. Maybe what it needs is a motor. Just a zillion or so horsepower and... I could hook you up with some reindeer. Forget reindeer and horses. We can use genuine bear power. 
Observe the beauty of nature. Ugh, or I was just doing that. Let me see. Where's the nature? Where's the beauty? Come on. Uh, there. I just don't see any nature. Well, Bucky, the nature ran away. Because someone scared it off. Huh? Uh, nature should be observed uh, silently. And from a nice distance. Oh, ah, yeah. right. Tell that to the forest, because it pops and crunches with every single step I take. <laughs> I do tend to stomp around a lot, I guess. Oh, hey! I'll find a way to observe nature's beauty from a nice distance. It'll work even if I'm noisy. And I'm always noisy. <laughs> mm, not this. This stuff. And all this stuff, too. Tripod. Good. With equipment like this, I can observe the stuffing out of nature. Yeah. Now I just need to find some nature to try it out on. Bingo. Chicky! Just act natural and let me observe you, all right? <laughs> just act natural! <laughs> just disappeared. What do I do now? Think, Bucky. Huh. <sighs> it's no problem. Bjorn's gonna love this thing. Because it's awesome! Scientists and others with big, smart brains will tell you that nature has sort of a problem with loud noises. Okay. So what then are all those? Long pause for dramatic effect. Who are by their very nature loud mouths? Ever to do! Well now, Bucky's latest invention has solved this terrible problem. I give you the remarkable nature looky thing! Speechless, huh? Check it out. You spot some sweet nature, right? But it's a very long distance off. Feel free to take notes. Well, in that case, you just press the zoom button. Zoom! Nature Whoa. grab. Then just observe the grand beauty of nature. When you've seen enough, Back it goes. Where do you think you're going? Bad nature! Fine. How about now? So nature's far better when my super technology enhances it, right? Well, Bucky, technology's nice. But up north, we take kind of a different approach when we're observing nature. Why don't you just come with me and see? That's so cool! Hello, Owl! Shh! Sorry. Ooh. Hello, Owl! They're so beautiful! Blue Moose! I wondered what that frog was so afraid of. I can't wait till they hatch. Uh, no comment. <laughs> the 
These are awesome. This is how nature should be observed. That's right. When nature can't tell you're there, you can see much more of what nature does. It's cool to meet you, nature. You are awesome! Star Story! Big Dipper, Ursa Major Great Bear. Ah, what a kick! Ursa Minor Little Bear. Oh, yeah! Cassiopeia. <gasps> Bucky! Enough reading. Let's go and play. I can't now. Sorry, Bucky. I'm supposed to study. <laughs> Ah. Ursa Major Great Bear, Ursa Minor Little Bear. The Atlas of the Stars, huh? Why do you want to learn about the stars? Polar bears all have to really know every single constellation in the sky. Well, a book won't do it. You need to be looking at the stars in real life, Bjorn. And you can't see them in the day. Well, at night, I can't read the atlas. And I get really snoozy woozy. You need to visit a planetarium. Do what? You know, the building where you can look at the stars whenever you want to, even in the daytime? And do planetariums just grow in the forest? Um, not really. Well, I guess I'll have to learn the stars by using the book. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> you know what? It so happens that the world's greatest planetarium is right in my own cabin! <laughs> or it will be really soon! I need this for something. Give me half an hour, then come see. I'm a genius! Time to be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Big Dipper goes here. Fancy glass. Teacup. This is fun. I'm making constellations, baby. Ugh. Tree stand. Bowl. Ugh. Hammer thing. Bucky, you are the coolest friend ever. Yeah. Hey there, Bjorn. You got here right on time. Come in! Welcome to the Bucky Way Galaxy! Ooh, it's a planetary! Ooh. 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 Nice try, dude, but there's no polar bear constellation. Seems like you'd know that. This is a planetarium, is it? What's going on with the ropes everywhere? Just ignore that. All the other stuff's what you're here to see. Bjorn Bear, come on down! Prepare to have your mind blown! Just over here is Ursa Major, the Great Bear Pot. It's totally just like the real thing. Almost exactly, kind of. Up here's the Great Cup. And down here's the Great Broken Cup. All right, maybe that's not a real constellation. Uh, how come you hung a hammer? Well, you see, so it occurred to me. There's so many stars, there's got to be one hammer constellation up there. I give you nail hit us major. So I made a few up. It's cool, though, right? It fills an open space. Huh? Bjorn, wait. Where are you going? What's wrong? Bjorn, are you upset or something? <laughs> hey, listen. I can take the hammer down if that's what's wrong. Although it is pretty banging, if I do say so myself. There's not a hammer constellation in the sky. Uh, I can fix everything, you know. Make sure it's super accurate so you can study the stars for real. I'm better off studying out here. Thanks a lot, but your planetarium just isn't my... Please tell me you see those lights. Look at that. Fireflies. Isn't it pretty? I wish my behind glowed like that. <laughs> wow, that looks like the Big Dipper. I think it actually looks closer to the Great Bear. Hmm, Cassiopeia. Hey, just like you said, Bjorn, that you wanted to learn about constellations out here? Well, that's just what's happening. Nature's showing us all the constellations. See, that looks like the constellation Leo Minor, Bucky. Nice kitty. And that's Pisces. Something's fishy about that one. There's Perseus. Hey, Sky Man. And Orion. Hey, other Sky Man. That looks like Scorpio. That is a big scorpion. And there's Aquarius. You're spilling your water, dude. Ooh, there's the Milky Way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Owl 
Uncle said, it isn't the Milky Way. Instead, it's a meteor shower that's learned to dance and do tricks. <laughs> That shows how well you understand our language. What it really said was, we should all be in bed now, because it's quite late. Well then, I'll say goodnight, Fjorn, my friend. Try not to let that hammer fall on your head. 